Okay. We might be back. We might be back. I'm checking all the other various sources here. Looks like we're back on Discord again. Pretty and Setters and subscribers over there. Uh, let me see if our signal is still pretty good over on the uh, website and Twitch. So we'll see here in just a sec. Just a sec. Okay, there I am on sec on the website. So I'm coming in over there. Um, Twitch dashboard looks good. Let me go and flush a uh, network break early, just so we can get the system cleared out on that. I think we got everything back up, guys. As far as the... Um, missing all the weird fragmented episode content. Let me see where things sit on the uh, content manager on Twitch real quick. Okay, so we're live on one segment. The other one that we did have, I'm going to unpublish that for just men, um, and I'll work on it later on tonight. I had to do this to you guys, but we haven't had our first network break, and it is close to that time. Um... But so far, our broadcast signal is fine. Um, if you missed out on what's been happening, let me tell you real quickly, and we'll take our break. Um, on Trumax, as far as the situation with that... Um, everything is fine. Watching a couple of thunderstorms up in Pottawatomie County. Uh, not with lightning as much as it was about five minutes ago, so that's a good sign. That maybe the storm is starting to decay. Um, as far as what we've been up to here, we were doing a lot of planning for some future episodes. I don't know what you guys lost or what you guys came back into. Uh, we started kind of making a sense of uh, the planning stage for the Eurasian Lynx, making it a part of the Cat Boulevard. Um, so we got that going on for us. 
So I think we might be okay. And we're all back together. Frodo, your assignment while you go on break. I want you to check around, still make sure that we're still on the air. Signal's going good. Um, I got to take our break because, uh, like I said, I've been in the studio for uh, two some hours now, and I need to take that break. If there is a problem, do a um, all white ping inside Discord. I'll see it. I'll hear it from the other side of the house. And then I'll come back and I'll try to do what I can to address that. But I think we are officially back on the air. Um, because I've seen no internet flags on Black Bear, GPU, and everything is good on all that. Uh, the internet, like I said, link seems to be fine. So, we'll work on this as far as the Eurasian Link stuff. And um, focus on that in the uh, European Badger, I guess, on the other side. So, stick around. I hate to do this right right now, but like I said, it is break time. So, grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, use the restroom and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll be back in just a few. Listen up, Simmers. TwitchCon 2024 is coming back to San Diego's Convention Center. Start booking your lodging now for September 20th to September 22nd. Watch for more information coming soon from Sim World Game Vision. Scan this QR code on screen now, or use this command for Frodo to give you the lodging link for TwitchCon 2024 special rates. If you have problems, let others help you. Call 988 or toll free to 1 800 273 8255. Send a text hello to 741 741. Please talk about it and save a life. Stormwatch Live. True Max 3D is SimWorld's exclusive only live radar, capable of looking at current weather conditions, forecast models, real-time radar with watches, warnings, and live lightning strike information. Stormwatch Live True Max 3D is keeping the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center safe and ahead of the weather. See it exclusively on SimWorld Game Vision.
If you are loving today's game content on SimWorld Game Vision, please consider checking out our upcoming broadcast schedule. SimWorld Live with your games guru will be right back in 10 seconds. This telecast of Sim World Live that you are watching from on Sim World Game Vision is copyrighted for the private viewing of our simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of this telecast including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the telecast without the written consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions Double LC is prohibited. Now, coming to you once again as we return to programming with Sim World Live from the David Kent Roma Studio at the Sim World Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. Here now is your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. All right, welcome back in, everybody. Um, looks like everything's good across the studio as far as internet issues. Uh, we are back, at least for now. Um, chat looks good and. Uh, as far as the storms, uh, they kind of disintegrated, so that's good news. That uh, that wave that we were kind of looking at earlier this evening uh, kind of has fizzled out. That was kind of like a, uh, I would want to say it was like a heating of the day type of storm, which are common when it's the temperatures are more warmer. And now that we're back in the 60s, um, it'll uh, start losing that intensity, that energy that it had. But anyway, I think we're fine. I think we're back. Um, I am so sorry today for all of the various uh, connection issues. Uh, I didn't really know we were having a lot of issues until uh, Discord went down. Uh, and when I started seeing that, uh, I kind of really was kind of focusing on make sure we were back on the air before we uh, went to break. And uh, now that we are together, so when everything's fine, let's get it back into uh, to work and everything. So let me reload um, our Evernote document. Make sure that's all ready for us to uh, make notes of, and back into uh, Planet Zoo. All right. Let me get the audio on. Hold on. I see you, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Try to get the audio. There we are. Hey, buddy. Okay. If you missed out on the discussion uh, because of the connection, um, the Eurasian links that we're going to be working on tonight is going to be part of our Cat Boulevard theme that we're going to be working on in about uh, three or four episodes from now. And the idea area that I thought out for them, fortunately it's dark, so it's kind of hard to see where we're all located here. Um, I was going to do the Eurasian links and a Cat Boulevard. Uh, kind of branching off the area here next to the Sand Cats habitat, which is this one right here. Which is unfortunately kind of hard to see because of the rain. So... I think with what we'll do
is I want to set up a branch kind of like a grid See if I can find it here. Uh, let's see if we can find a... I want to try to use this... Yeah, we can do something like this. Alright, let's see here. Let me see here before I get into it. Because if I do the Cat Boulevard, like I said, it head this way off to what could be a third um, Zoot Mission entrance. And I think tying it to here would make like this be the central hub part of the zoo now. And we branch out. Um Let's lock it in. Get some containers here for uh, donations and all that stuff. So, what we want to do is focus on an area that will have 11,000, let's see my notes here, 11,948 square feet. Let's do, um, Let's do two by three panels. So let's do three back this way.
And we'll see if that's enough. I, th I mean, it probably could be. Pretty good right there. Um, if we did that. see how much square footage that is. Oh, that's almost like double. Because I needed 11,948. That's like... That's 26,824. So that's not too shabby. Alright. So one thing I want to do... Back here on this side. God, this is going to be challenging with the existing pathway here. Um, We'll keep this alone. I don't think... That was a smart decision, but...
boy. How do we do this? That works there. That looks terrible. Ah, let's see here. Let's try to uh There. That's a lot better. That looks a lot better. And then what I want to do. This is where I'm going to get a little anxious. How well. Keep it at that path, yeah. That would be a nice cap boulevard. You can see at least three sides on this one. And as we continue to build down the road in future episodes, I want to have it where you can um, go do viewing domes inside. Okay. All right, I need to One-way glass protection, a barrier climb guard, and I need to make this over 10 feet. So let's first make a glass. There we go. It's gotta be that side. All right, we're gonna have a barrier protection on it. I guess it doesn't have to have a climb guard if it's glass, because glass is like a, uh, a slick and uh, 
smooth surface. But we do want to have that up 10, over 10 feet. Hold on, let me uh, make sure we get the whole perimeter here. Let's go 10 and a quarter. Or 10 and a half, that's better. Yeah. Now, for us to do the watch part of it. have to do an entrance here. Probably I don't know if they would need like we've already been pretty much determined on that, so everything's good there. Grassland, temperate, tundra, and tega. So I'm going to say they'll probably want a bit of mix of uh, soil. in the weather we're in right now it'd be mud um let's do a little short grass over here then we'll do it on the the heel here if it needs a little sand or not. I'll kind of throw a little some there just in case. Tega and Tundra is kind of a little mix of rock and a mix of that too. So maybe I'll do um, So we kind of have a mix of everything. Let's see how that kind of shapes up. Um, 
As far as nature... European, Asia. We want tundra, temperate, taiga, and grassland. Let's start with the uh, trees. Let's do some nettle. Okay, so something like that.
Okay. Probably just something like, let's see where's the front entrance at, okay, over there. Um, water pipe there. Probably what I'll do for foot for the uh, rest, put a small uh, bed. Right against the viewing platform entrance. Let's do cardboard box there. Blood scented markings right here. I want to buy this tree too. Then we'll do I might want to do some climbing, huh? I do got our big uh, frame. I can actually set up the animals in man one if I have blueprints still. And then I could do... Blood pumpkin on top. I don't know if the staff can get to it, but we'll figure it out. Got a good, a good kind of setup here. I do need a couple viewing domes. I 
I can remember where I had those at. I don't know where it is. Let's see. It's not a barrier, except for the entrance. You think I would for I, I would remember. I don't know what it is. Lately, the last two days, even when I'm at work, I I, for, I I've missed play stains. I don't know if it's lack of vitamins or what, but it's uh bothering the heck out of me. And I'm starting to lose track of things. Okay, so we found him. That's all that matters. We'll do two domes instead of, you know, uh, a lot more than that. So we'll start with that, and then as far as signage for the facilities. We'll do something like... Yeah, we'll set up educational uh, pop-up talks later. Not right now. Do something like that. Let's do, um, the speakers.
one thing I will do, I don't know if I'm doing anything on this side yet. Um, let's do a bench. I want to do a cover for that if I can find it. Let's see, guest stuff we got taken care of. The animal stuff we got taken care of. Staff. Uh, we need to assign this to the alligator district. Oh, we got to get a name to it, too. Six straight one. And as far as the staff territory, this would be under the Alligator District. Why is it saying and another? Oh, it might be because of the whole zoo thing. So, if that's the case, we have to also account for main zoo. That's it. So, we have to put it in two different. Yeah, that's why it's purple. Okay. Um. So thinking what we'll do for the Eurasian Lynx. What is the uh, life expectancy again? 18 years? Yeah, 18 years. So, we go to the market. Let's see what we got here. We got a good female for a size and longevity, but not for fertility. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock in Sinatka. Sinatka. How do you pronounce that? Sanaka? Um, I'll go ahead and lock them in. 
and then we'll kind of see how things go on the uh, on the male side of perspective. And uh, while we're doing that, we'll wait through the uh, the weather to maybe get a little bit better. Can't do anything about all that. That's mechanic things. I'm not gonna. Aha! Okay. The frozen blood pumpkin needs to be moved down. There we go. Okay. So that will work for us. A lot of our folks are leaving. Probably run out of money. Let's try to make it sunny for a little bit, huh? Make the uh, zoo a little bit more nicer. Okay, so what we want to do now, we're still waiting on the uh, market. Oh, no, we got, uh, let's see. Fertility's not bad on that one. Not too shabby. I like the uh, factors and the potential. So it could be red and gold or dark gold. What was the, uh, seven years? Okay. All right, so let's go through. I don't know who wants to do it. We need to have them go through quarantine right now. All right, you guys, quick trade. And then you two go to quarantine. Okay. And then what I want to do Let's see about what we want to do for the Badger home. So not really much of an endangered species. 
focus in the United Kingdom area, so France, Italy, London area, even down to uh, Iraq and a little bit of Western Ru Russia and Ukraine. Okay, so we can have up to seven animals, six of each gender. This is interesting that they start their lives naked, blind, and deaf. That would be a rough, rough start to your life. I mean, naked, I can understand. I mean, don't we all? But blind and deaf? Wow. Hmm. Used for shaving brushes. They were killed in the 1960s and 1970s because of rabies. And got tuber, uh, tuber Calusas in the cattle. Wow. Interesting. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking the bears somewhere in this area. Um, if I'm going to do a exhibit, I don't know if we're going to have the birds. I, I, I'm going to try to keep this open. I think what I want to do right now. I'm keeping this area locked off from my own self until we get a bird home. We have got to get an a Avery. We just got to, guys. We just got to. So, that area is off limits to me at all.
What if I don't know if I want to do that. Well, a spot like right here. The other thing is we were going to do a restaurant. But that would take jobs away from here. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's use this spot. Let's use this space. Port of Badgers. How much do they need for doing six to six? How many, how many are they producing babies at a time? Four cups. So let's do three and four. Let's get another Evernote document started. By the way, if you missed out on the discussion earlier because of our internet connection issues, um, we did come up with a episode guide plan from episode 28 to 38, which is we're going to start uh, the next time we are together. We're going to start a bear theme project. Or we'll do the grizzly bear, followed by the Himalayan. Or actually, we'll start with the giant panda, then we'll do the grizzly bear, and then we'll do the Himalayan bear and sun bear. And now we kind of are like a, uh, a two episode kind of like nice thing to do. And then we'll get into a cat bowl of our theme right next to the year late your Asian links. That's when we're going to get into like the ones we've done in Eastern France, like the tigers, the cheetahs, the leopards, uh, stuff like that. The lions. So. Statistics that we need out of it, we need 5,425 square feet. Um, material needs to be grade two and no taller than four feet um four feet great two So I could do the steel mesh. Okay, we'll go steel mesh on that. And it doesn't need a climb guard. Um, we can go four feet 
Hold up. They don't need to climb. They don't need to have water. Um... Tega, Temperate, and Grassland. And you guys are primarily Europe. A little bit of Asia, too. And tolerable what to what temperature? T Nineteen hundred. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking, Or can't you, uh, take it?
Mmm, just a shy too much. You know, we may be able to divide this up. If so, how? I don't think we'll drop the size of it down. I think it'll be okay at this height. Full habitat. I need 5,000. I've got way too much. I know that. 16,103. Um... Thinking. Let's divide it up. There's something over here for something else. That way. That's 4,607. What was the amount that we needed again? Five thousand four hundred twenty-five. So we're just a little, little, we need to expand it just a hair.
That's plenty. That'll work. And then we can figure out what to do with that space in a future episode of something. Um... Let's do the, uh... Domes. Let's do some domes in this one. No, I don't think I want to do the dome thing because I think ah, uh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. What if and this is a big what if? Could I? No, I would be able to. Okay, well, I've got the answers of that, so that helps my answers, my my thought process. Um.
Let's go to nature then, I guess. Um, where do my original stuff here? European and Asia. Tega. Temperate. And grassland. Okay, so. It's not tundra this time. Okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, as far as like the uh, grass and such, I think I'm gonna go low and um, just do short grass, and we'll see. As we need it. The build for it, okay?
Okay. Let's go through all the habitat stuff now. For the badger. I always like to do uh, running water. It's a lot more fresher than... Um, I kind of knew these guys would probably be underground. What we'll do is we're kind of do something like that, and then we'll do our burrow cameras again. We'll set that up over here. So, for us to do monitors, geez, someone made a wonderful blueprint from this. I wonder who that was. This guy. Numbers, please. Six,
do it like there. So we'll have it in two spots. Camera is going to only be in one spot, though, um, or as far as a burrow monitor. I could do speakers. Let's see, is there anything across the way? Just the uh, memorial hall. Um, so we could do something like, uh-oh. Well, you are a poop. You're in my way. Uh, how about you? Relocate the carry one. And then that way we can have a spot space. For the, uh, for the badger. Okay, so we got that. I think that's pretty darn good. Okay, Badger Expectancy of Life. 17 years, okay. So we got some young ones here. Let's see what we got. Fertility is off a little on that one. Hey, this is not bad. Okay, so let's get those guys. Down the hall here. Now, before we do move them over, we got to get these guys into the habitat as well, or these into the district. Uh, this would be the alligator and main zoo, so let's do that. gonna move this one we're not gonna mark it in until we pretty much know what the heck we're doing with it all right here we go well let's wait and see thing now Everyone's got new staff assignments, so you don't have to run as far, guys. Nice job to see the koalas, uh, expecting. Boy, I'd hate to be the mechanics today at the uh, vending machines. Did you hear that? Someone was singing a uh, theme. That's pretty cool. Did 
Is this the uh, Keeper Hut? I don't know if anyone's... Who is all using the Keeper Hut? Um, Camel. Let me think that's Camel. Alligator should be the ones that are using that one. Alligator, camel. Yeah, let's uh, make sure that that's in those work zones. And it should be in the main zoo, too. Yeah, it's in the alligator, so let me see if it's in the camel one. Um, Okay. Beaver. Why do you have two staff worms? Oh, because you do have two staff workworms. That's right. have had their quarantine pass, so let's send those over. Alligator District. I don't know who would like to pick these animals up, but um, I am ready to send over the links to the new Cat Boulevard. So yeah, badgers will have to wait for a little bit. Okay.
That looked too too bad. That looked pretty cool. Friendly. I like the uh, um, the ear tufts. I'll get to you guys uh, grade three. Give me just a second on that. Good. Not really saying much on the terrain. So, hard to say at the moment. But, let's go ahead and get everything turned on. You know, you could bring this one out. Pretty darn good. He's testing him. Okay. New information coming in. Uh, they do want shorter grass. Okay. Not a lot. Just a just a smidge more. I could do like around this tree. good. The other one is uh, somewhere. Oh, he's up there already on the top. Well, they're just getting used to their, their turf. Their new home. It's gonna be a while before anybody sees these guys because they're like way back here on the back part of the zoo. And 
and uh, it'll take time. It'll take time. Uh, how is the the uh, Badgers? Are we ready for moving the Badgers out yet? Yep, Badgers can come out now too. I don't have a I don't have you guys named up, do I? Badger to badger. Okay, hold on a second. Let's do, um... Six three one. Um, let's do grade three. Everything's all good. They just got in, so we don't know yet on their likeness of things. Let them uh. Sniff around our new home, and then it'll tell us. Well, what do you guys think now? Doing good. Make some improvements. Uh, 
let's see, you want more log grass and soil. Okay, log grass and soil. Coming right up. How about I do some uh, mud? Like in front of your burrows. Except I don't like how that happens when I do that. I don't know why it does that, but it does. There we go. Best I could give it. Yep, that's better. Brand new habitat, guys. Just opened up. These are the European Badgers. Alright, Henry is your attention staff. Pay attention to orders because the, the inspection is underway. Sorry that the uh, vending machines are broken down. That's not my problem. That's the mechanics problems. <laughs> All right. Yep. Good evening, my lady. You're here to see everybody almost. You're going to go see Penitosa. Um, insufficient area of crowding? You don't say. I don't know. Space becoming an issue. We'll see, we'll, we'll see what uh, comes of that. All right, Henrietta, who else? Gustavo? Well, birds of the beast talk there. Uh -huh. Who else you seeing? Darna? Darna is doing fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. And as far as the rhinos, you're going to so Duru. Tired. Doing all right, though. Just need some love. Don't we all? Don't we all need some love? Yeah. And of course, you're seeing Safara for our Saiyan cats. Yeah. 
Yep, you're going to have a good clean hit inspection today, Henrietta. Why don't you check out our new habitats while you're around? I think you'll like it. Is anybody working for my mechanics? Just curious. Over here in the vending machine area. Or the uh, Campbell or Beaver District. Everyone's like broken down, isn't it? Oh, I'm mechanics, you're not going to like me today. See how that happens for a while. Sorry, mechanics, I have to yell at you. I have two mechanics per district, so one's on scene now. The other one's on scene too. Good luck, guys. Sorry I have to do this to you. You're going to be there in a while. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, where are we on airtime? Yeah, we are a little over break time, so let's uh, let's do the stop on that. Do a save because we got a lot done thus far, and uh, I don't know. We'll jerk around for the that last little bit uh, when we get back. So, in the meantime, grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, use the restroom, and all that such. Um, again, I'm sorry again that we had our internet issue the, the connection earlier uh i assume everything's still going pretty good because uh signal's still strong again back on black bear um as far as everything with the uh bandwidth from twitch 
no unstable moments, so everything's going good, at least what we can see right now. Um, say that, I want to see, before I go to break, over on the dashboard real quick. Yep, everything's fine. All right, that's good. Stick around, board come. Listen up, Simmers. TwitchCon 2024 is coming back to San Diego's Convention Center. Start booking your lodging now for September 20th to September 22nd. Watch for more information coming soon from Sim World Game Vision. Scan this QR code on screen now, or use this command for Frodo to give you the lodging link for TwitchCon 2024 special rates. If you have problems, let others help you. Call 988 or toll free to 1 800 273 8255. Send a text hello to 741 741. Please talk about it and save a life. Stormwatch Live. TrueMax 3D is SimWorld's exclusive only live radar capable of looking at current weather conditions, forecast models, real-time radar with watches, warnings, and live lightning strike information. Stormwatch Live TrueMax 3D is keeping the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center safe and ahead of the weather. See it exclusively on SimWorld Game Vision.
If you are loving today's game content on SimWorld Game Vision, please consider checking out our upcoming broadcast schedule. SimWorld Live with your games guru will be right back in 10 seconds. This telecast of Sim World Live that you are watching from on Sim World Game Vision is copyrighted for the private viewing of our simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of this telecast including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the telecast without the written consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions Double LC is prohibited. Now, coming to you once again as we return to programming right. Sim World Live from the David Kent Romba Studio at the Sim World Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. Here now is your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. All right, Simmers, welcome back. Hope we are having a uh, a good evening. Sorry again about our connection issues earlier this evening. Uh, we're going to be together for about another hour, and um, I will tell you tomorrow a couple things. One, as far as our severe weather threat with Stormwatch Live Trim X30, we are looking at a large hail damaging wind threat. Uh, not really more of a tornado threat, but I'd seen the threat window in time between uh, the time we would start at 3 p.m. Eastern to as late as um, possibly 6 p.m. Eastern. So. Uh, we'll keep an eye on things throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, do anticipate us being in a severe weather alert day tomorrow. And uh, we'll kind of just uh, play it out by year and uh, see how things go by the hour. Also, tomorrow is our second episode of The Good Doctor on ABC. So, if you guys are big fans of that, uh, it was a pretty interesting episode last week. Um, as... Sean now back into the, the swing of things in surgery. Uh, Dr. Glassman and Lim are, don't ask me how that's going to work, the co-presidents of the hospital, St. Bonaventure. And then, of course, also, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of glad that Glassman and Sean are kind of on the mends. As far as getting back to being friends with each other. So, we'll see how that works. But, ever than that, uh, we'll uh, have that episode. That'll be tomorrow night. Hopefully, severe weather won't do too much damage to uh, remain on to see it. But, we'll see what happens. But, anyway. Uh, we'll be together tomorrow with Satisfactory. And uh, we'll talk more about that here in about one hour's time. But in the meantime, let's get back into working on the uh, civil zoo for at least the last hour. We'll kind of see, uh, uh, mess around with uh, a couple things as far as seeing um, animals and um, staff, how the new alligator and beaver and the uh, camel districts are kind of working out. And uh, seeing how things are with all that perspective so and of course the inspector Henry Lang is in town so we'll see how she's finding things okay Okay. Let's 
It's a zoo top up talk up and up. Zoo's educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of some world zoos. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chats and educational tours on the SimWorld Zoo smartphone app. Find our SimWorld Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. Everyone's gathering around, but I don't see our staff yet. Thank you for coming to our home of SimWorld Zoos today. There it is. Got a lot of uh, trash on the sidewalk here. Not liking that. Silverback Gorilla pop-up seminar was pretty darn good. I don't know who's throwing trash around. Um, I'm not liking that there's no... Um, I don't get why there's no, um, bins around. I'll put a pair out and then we'll see. That needs to be changed. There's our caretaker. But they may not be signed to where How you guys doing? Ooh, you're expecting nice job. Nice job. Thank you for coming to our home of Sim World Zoos today. We want to They're too bad. Uh-oh. Star starving animal. Okay, what's going on? Who's not taking care of animals today? Pazowski's. Uh, who in the right mind of my staff it's a sign to the Brzozowski's. 
What district is this? Who is going to be fired today? This would be the... Is this the alligator district? Yes. Yes. I'm going to insist. Are you feeding them right now? Good. Move to it now. These guys are super hungry. Come on, guys. Come eat. I'm going to make sure you eat before I do anything else. Everybody get over here now. There's plenty of food. If you need more, I'll get more. Just fall, just fall, get a triangle and start munching. Find a triangle and start munching. Are you hungry? Come on, buddy. Come over here, now. Come on, hurry. That's it, that's it, come on. How you feeling now, bud? You doing, you doing better? Okay. Okay, y'all good? Anybody else hungry over here? No? Okay. Okay, the red foxes are fighting. So let's go see what's going on with that. There are 16 reported red foxes in our habitat. Um, well, there's a lot of men. So I'm thinking what we need to do... Ears. The females can say the men have got to, uh, pack up. Jabin said, I'll, I'll find you a new home, okay? Uh, a retirement home. Okay, Jameson. Yeah. 
Guys, you know what to do in chat. All right. So. Seven. Um, red foxes now. Which isn't, you know, all too bad. One male. A lot of females. That'll be fine. As far as the uh, giant otter that's in here... Um, he's still a baby, isn't he? Okay. Hey, do the best you can. Once he becomes of age, then we'll get him out. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Do we have any more tapers here, or are you just the only one left? No, not bear cats. Bear cats should be okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. Actually. Actually, there's more females. There's no males, so we gotta get a male. Let's go shopping for a bear cat, guys, right right now. Um We need a bail. Wow, not good. What's the, uh, what's the average age on those bear cats? Twenty-two years. Let's put one of these in. I'm going to just bring it straight in. Normally I'd go through quarantine, but this time it's going straight in. Um. Now, as far as the uh, tapers, we need them. We yeah, you're wanting to mate. You want to mate. You want to mate. So hold on. Let me see if I can find a mate for you. Thirty years. And how old are you, baby? Seven. Okay, so you got a ways to go. Let's get. Let's let's find you a mate. Let's find you a mate. Um. Go through this way. Let's see. That's a male that we got. Is that right? 
Yeah, we got a male, so I need a female. Hmm, no. I don't like the qualities. That one's just stinks. Well, if you could wait three minutes, we might have another option. Hey, three minutes, okay? Three minutes. By the time the uh, new Bearcat comes in, I'll have a taper option. I know, you're lonely. Here's a mechanic. I was saying it's with your... Your world. They're pretty good. He's having a hit. He's head over heels. He's having a good time. Well, Casey, good luck. Hope you like your new uh, district assignments. I want to know if this is making him better with work. Or it's making it worse. Or is it the same? Okay. We have enough another female yet? No, not yet, for another minute. Okay. Got a couple new females. Oh no, wait, we have only have one. That one was, uh, that was the one that was uh, kind of satisfactory, but not what I would do a, uh, a mate with. We got a new one here in just a second. That was better. All right, we got multiple animals that are hungry. So let's uh, see what I need to do. Quokas. 
The flamingos are getting hungry. Okay. Quokas are not ideal temperature. Oh. Um, you guys... Hmm. Let me put a uh, cooler down. Focus, what's your uh, temperature on the low side? Fifty to one hundred. Okay. Let me get to uh, seventy degrees. I'll do kind of like 72. I think that'll be a good thing. All right. I'm going to go find a uh, flamingos. You guys are all hungry. I know. Just be patient. Thank you for coming to our home of Sin World Zeus today. We want to get your attention and remind you that we have a special pop-up educational channel. I know, you guys are all wanting food. Please make sure you get a good seat, silence your phone, and give Okay. Badgers, low welfare. What's up with you guys now? Okay. Um... I could change your habitat to glass if that's what you want. Okay. Let me try to uh, turn us over to uh, glass or See if that'll help you guys out, okay? Alright. Lynx, what's the matter with you guys now? You guys are hungry. Okay, hang on.
If I need to assign more staff to Habitat Staff, then I will. I'll I'll hire some more. Um, as far as your temperature, what is your ideal temperature, kids? Let's see. Nine to one hundred. Oh, how about I, uh, turn it out just a little bit on a uh, sun. The sprinklers you gotta be helping. Let me do a uh, cooler for you guys. How about that too? The Rizoski horses are hungry again. Okay. All right. Um, Let me see the staff to everybody. Krasowski horses, lynx, flamingos. You are all uh, alligator, right? You guys should be just all just like main zoo. Okay. Who's all my um I got three working on food right now. Do we need two for each district? Okay. Two for each district. Let's do that. One, 
two, one, two, three, one, two. All right, Alpha, alligator, beaver, camel, you all getting two extra keepers. Does anybody else need any more staff? Why don't you go through training? And if you go through training, we'll talk money, okay? Kirk, the same thing. Um. Mechanics are all good. Security's all good. Um, Lula, let's go. You go through training. As far as my caretakers, everybody's doing a job. So, all right, those new keepers I just hired. I want two to go to alligator, two to beaver, and two to camel. You're not going to get trained until uh, I see that you're out and out, okay? Ideal temperature, the skunk is not ideal temperature, okay. If you guys go to your cages, listen, if you go to your cage, this is odd. So just go lay down. That's the best way to do it. To the shade, you got air conditioning. Can't tell you anything better than that. 
For Zoski horses, I'm hoping that someone's on their way to feed you. And the flamingos. <sighs> Boy, I, I don't know, guys. I have new staff on on call, Nur. This is sad. Hey, um... No, 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 sweetie. Oh, no, no. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Can I, can I recommend you take a break? I don't know, guys. Maybe it's time we, uh... <sighs> Cut some of these back. No one's showing up for these. I'm gonna take these down. No one's showing up for these anymore. It is sad. It, it truly is. I don't know how to improve that. I know it's coming for you, Steve, anymore. I just, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. Don't take it personal, okay? Even up there, with Bob Ross up there and Next to Carl Richards and all that. Gotta be rough. Up there with uh, Fred Rogers, too. People are just not coming anymore. That's the food dish? Oh, I see. I know, guys. I know. I'm going to uh, do a full forced uh, bet and staff. Uh. You guys aren't being taken care of, and I demand attention right now.
And don't you say nothing's going on. I can't believe that the flamingos are now attracting protesters because where is my staff? Where is the alligator staff? I hear you rushing. I want to see what you're doing. What are you going to do for this? Stay with her. We're waiting on this uh, employee to do their work. Okay, she's got the food. Silence your phones and give your undivided attention to our Sim World Zoo's educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals at Sim World Zoo. Also, Okay, guys.
that good for y'all or do we need We all good? All right. Hey, look at that. The links are, uh, you'll see this. Okay, I'll deal with the overcrowding in just a second. There's the cub. Oh, Felix. Welcome, buddy. But I wouldn't, I can't, uh, I'm not, I can't, I, uh, Frodo, I know what you're thinking. I wish I could give it a head scratch uh, and welcome it to the, to the neighborhood. Ah, uh, all right. Foremost of black bears. There's some problems going on up here. Um, Quick trade on those. Henrietta, how are things going with you? Not too shabby. Lemurs, um, what would you recommend on that, Henrietta? As you're leaving? What is your recommendation? 
What would you do? Break him up? How many would you have in here? Three? I guess what I could do... I need another black and white roughed labor, that's for sure. coming up here in one minute if we can wait that long let's wait for the uh, timer to reset and let's see what we have and then what we'll do is once we reset that and try to get a mate I want to keep two um, a female to male for each gender in this room and for the lemurs. Fresh. That was not too, too bad. All right, as far as the other lemurs that are in here. Hang on, I'll get to you in just a second. Sheesh. give contraceptives to anybody unless I want it and unless I want to initiate some things Anybody else on contraceptives? No? Okay, let's go back over to the lemurs. Um... Unfortunately, the Red Ruffs are uh, the only ones we got here right now. I'll 
I'll try to find a male. For the red rough. Let's see, I need a male. Male, male, male. Yeah, not a good look. Wow, are we bad. Um... Okay, I guess I'm not going to do anything with that. All right. There was fighting somewhere. Where? Porcupines. Coming your way. What's up? Why are the quills out? Why is, why is the quills out? Why are you fighting? What's the matter? Ah, the men are grown up. It's time for them to take a hike. Okay. Um, oh, no, no, no. All right, quick trade out. See you guys. All right. Um, I think we got everything all good. I want to make sure the horses are, these guys are okay. Wait, these are the, uh, that's the chimpanzees. Let's see what I want to see. How are you guys doing? Again? What is wrong with my staff? This is like the third time I've had to call them in. I should have it. I have. I should have. I should have enough staff on the payroll that they could be checked on every fifteen days. What is going on with my staff? Time for a staff check. Okay, Monroe. I'm going to request training. As far as...
Okay. Let's do a check of everything real quickly. Oh no. Where did you say the area was bland? Can you tell me? This month. Where where are you coming from? You're coming from um Bland over is it like over here? There's nothing right here at this moment. Nothing's supposed to be in here at the moment. Um I'm gonna miss you, man. Well, you've been in here for like 20 some years in a game. I'm gonna miss you. Ah! Can't believe I'm saying that to my own self. Well, you come on back whenever you're ready. I think the next time you come back, we're going to have bears. Maybe the start of the Cat Boulevard again. It's already started with the Lynx and the Sand Cats. So we'll push down that way. But I think we're at a good stopping point for the night. Yeah, we are uh, close to that time. Um, I will say that as I uh, close things up, I really do want to apologize again. And I know I've seemed like a broken record, but I am sorry that we had internet connection issues yet again on our broadcast. Um... I don't know quite sure where the fault came into play. If it was here with Cox Communications yet again, or it had to do with Twitch um, in our broadcast feed. I don't know how else I can make it um, make it better for us all. So things can work out. I will tell you that um, for tomorrow, um, as far as the weather in the situation with Stormwatch Live True Max 3D, while well, keep an eye on the situation, uh, they, there will be some new model information that comes in here in a couple hours. Before I go to bed, I'll take a look at it and see what changes there might be coming. Um, and then I'll have an idea as far as what we could expect. But right now it looks like large hail, damaging winds, primary threats. Uh, tornadoes not being the question, but you never know. Um, but they're the, the only, I guess, good sign about it is there's not that much uh, twist or rotation in the atmosphere to conduce tornadoes, but large hail is possible with what we can see in it. So we'll see how things shape up. Um, but anyway, we're about 10 degrees away from the overnight low of 45. Uh, it's 56 right here at the studio right now. So all in all, not too shabby. Um, we had an all-time record high today, broken uh, 84 degrees, broken the record of 1896 for 78 degrees set back in that dime, so crazy that uh, we overseeded that by almost 8 degrees, but anyhow, all right, I'm going to get myself out of here, let's talk about what we have coming up uh, again tomorrow, we'll be doing Satisfactory, uh, working on the modular engines, more working on that, and again, we'll have TrueMax 3D 
uh, that will be monitored. And of course, we also will be doing um, our afternoon show instead of the evening because it is, of course, our second episode of The Good Doctor in the Farewell Season. So we'll be getting into that. And that it is, yes, the end of February. Can you believe it? Already. And uh, we'll be in it in March. Next week on the broadcast, we'll be doing Minecraft Adventures. Big new build starting with that. More work satisfactory. Just depends on how we get, uh, how much we get done tomorrow. And then, of course, we have Simple Farms. There's a lot of work to be done with that on Sunday. And then, of course, next week, we have uh, some more work with uh, the Round 19 vehicles of the 1969 Ford Mustang. And then, of course, we've got a Land Rover that we'll have to work on next week. But that's going to wrap it up. With that said, I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, thanks for hanging out with me. And again, I'm sorry about the internet connections. As we are closing out our broadcast for today on Simple Game Vision, let me ask you for a few more minutes of your time. I want to thank all our servers who have come to watch the broadcast, whether you are someone new to the channel today or someone who has been coming through and watching off and on over the last 10 years. Let me admit it that you are awesome. Here on the Twitch Broadcast Network, there is an abundance of entertainment options and for someone who provides over 10 years of family-friendly strategic and simulation entertainment, Thank you for choosing Several Game Vision as your entertainment today. Make sure you check us out on our Several Neighborhood on Discord, our home on the Metaverse, and our website for the latest news updates, recaps from the annual State of the Several presentations, and our programming announcements. Now, furthermore, I want to stop and acknowledge everyone who had come by way of raids, hype trains, and those who have followed in today, as well as those who have supported our neighborhood by cheering bits, donating, becoming a new insider, a new subscriber, or for those who are thankful and continue their subscriber benefits. Thank you everyone for all the support. It is now that time to have yourselves a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are, whatever you're watching this broadcast from. If you are coming in here late and you will want to watch the broadcast on demand, your broadcast will be made immediately available on Twitch, on our website, and our archive channel in one hour's time. Now, one last thing for you all simmers. You keep calm and happy simming. I'll see you real soon. Simmers, Insiders, this is the voice of SimWorld, Dustin Mathai is once again here. Thank you for watching SimWorld Game Vision as we are your home for all things simulation. Today's telecast of SimWorld Live featured on SimWorld Game Vision is produced in the David Kent Roma Studio at the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas, and is copyrighted for the private viewing of our Simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of the telecast including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the programming without the consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions Double LC is prohibited. Thank you for watching today's presentation of SimWorld Live right here on SimWorld Game Vision. All right. 30 seconds.